Our first guest is a two-time Academy Award winner. Uh, 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 up until right now, this is going to work just great. Uh, she, her most recent films, Mrs. Doubtfire and Forrest Gump, have earned over a zillion dollars. <laughs> Her miniseries, A Woman of Independent Means, debuts February 19th. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program Mrs. Gump herself, Sally Field. How are you, Sally? The crowd goes crazy. I know, I know. Thank you. That's nice. Let's talk a little bit about the weather. You, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, originally from uh, Southern California? Yes, I am. Born and reared there? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, born in Pasadena, yeah. raised in the San Fernando Valley. Well, that's nice. Yeah. It's a good life for a kid, isn't it? Well, yeah. But when was the first time you saw an actual snowfall? Oh, my God, that's a good question. You know that, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. <laughs> now, I saw it on the ground. Yeah, right, but, but an actual but I, snowfall. I mean, it actually came out like of the sky. Like we have here tonight. You know, I think I was a grown-up. Uh -huh. Oh, so, you, so then you were a little uh, deprived of something yeah, of your childhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was some, you know, in my 20s. Well... Yeah, that was a great question, wasn't it? <laughs> Snowfall. Yeah, yeah, it was during a panty raid, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was a panty raid, and it was snowing, and, and I'll never forget it. It was wonderful. Did you ever I gave away all my panties. <laughs> Whoa! And I don't wear any now. Now, did you ever participate in that kind of foolishness? No, 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 I never did. I, I was doing the flying nun at the time. Oh. Now, when you did that, and, yeah. and forgive me here, no, but now you started out, you were Gidget for a while, yeah. right? How long were you Gidget? Uh, you know, you asked me this question last time, too, and I remember what I answered, in my heart, mm -hmm. always. Well, that's all we, all we want Shall now. Shall I say that again? Yeah, what? In my heart, always. In your heart, always. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was Gidget. I was actually Gidget for, or for 36 episodes. Uh -huh. How did you get that job? Oh, ha, 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 ha. All, oh, right. No. all right, say no more. Now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I read and tested and read and tested and read and tested. And <laughs> yeah. And, and, then, and then you went on to become uh, the uh, flying nun yeah, shortly did. thereafter. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. not at the time maybe, but looking back on it now, yeah. those are two kind of jobs that might have uh -huh. suggested less than a stellar future and great career. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, yeah. A lot of people might not have been able to go on to be other things than the flying nun and Gidget. That's were, true. Were you concerned about that at the time? No. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't really concerned about it at the time. I, 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 knew, I knew I had other things ahead of me. I knew that someday I would see snow falling from the sky. <laughs> it's going nowhere fast. <laughs> um, but when you were the flying nun, and yeah. that was like two years, right? And the uh, deal oh, on that Oh, no, that was three. Three years. The deal on that was <laughs> you were a, a woman, a, a novice? Were you a, a full... Yeah. yeah. I was... A, well, the, the whole deal on that was I was little. I was tiny, very little. Yeah. Tiny little person. Right. And that's what I am. I was a exactly. very sure. small person. Exactly. Sure. It makes person. perfect sense. And it was supposed to be that those... Uh, the French cornets that they had, that, you know, that one like that, it mm -hmm. would lift me and I would fly because I was so little That's and the right. wind would come. Yeah, and you would just go all over the world. All over, just wherever just I wanted. Solving crimes. With, yeah, I exactly. Wanted. <laughs> now, did you, did you have to make like public appearances dressed as the fly? Oh, well, I tried not. There, they, oh my goodness, yes. There. <laughs> There's this one story. Now, I actually, I can't, I don't think I've ever told this story before, so. All right. Don't tell anybody, I, all right? No. <laughs> Get up really close to the sets now, kids. <laughs> there was this one time, we were doing award shows. I mean, award shows are coming What was up. it? What was the award show? This was, I believe it was the second uh, Golden Globes. Golden ever, Globes. It ever was. Mm -hmm. And it was held at the uh, Coconut Grove. Mm -hmm. And it was the second it's year. It's a hotel kind of no, thing in Los Angeles? No, you the famous Coconut Grove. No, I really you don't. don't. No. All I remember, no. Well, well it, it was this big old posh Hollywood thing. It's a landmark. It was, yeah. yeah. And they tore it down, of mm -hmm. course. But um, this was the second year of the Flying Nun. And I was trying very hard to learn to say no to things. Because mm -hmm. I was like opening supermarkets. And I was being used to death. And I was tired. And, so they, they, they had this really good idea, and they said they wanted me to fly across the coconut grove over the heads of all these fabulous, famous people <laughs> and present Best Newcomer Award. <laughs> well, I, you know, I'd gotten to the point where I, I, I was really working on saying no, so I said no yeah. to the outfit. <laughs> I, said, I said no, I would not wear the Flying Nun outfit. So 
I flew across the coconut <laughs> grove wearing a pink taffeta culotte outfit. <laughs> So it, it made it no makes, sense. Yeah, exactly right. So <laughs> instead of being the flying nun, it really was Sally Field in a pink tap and a cool hot outfit. And Across had, the parking uh, lot. Absolutely. And, and I had like little ringlets all over my head. I don't know who, <laughs> uh, who I thought I was. Was it, was it well received, this oh, entrance? Oh, well, I'll tell you how well received it was. There it was John Wayne, the late John Wayne, sure. on the stage about to receive me going 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Because we hadn't rehearsed this, because no, I had said no. no to that, too. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so I remember Mr. Wayne looking at me and going, this look, and, and this big man sort of like planting himself. <laughs> and I hit that man, I am not exaggerating, going about 35. Oh. And he, you know, he sort of received me. And he held me there, because what else was he going to do? Yeah. So here I am in my pink taffeta culotte outfit. <laughs> God forbid someone should see up my dress, you know? It probably would have been the greatest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. At that For point me, in my life, I me. hadn't even seen snow come out of yeah. the sky. So Mr. Wayne held me in his arms, and I presented the Best Newcomer Award to Dustin Hoffman for The Graduate. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, this is... Oh, yeah, that was wonderful. Yeah, that's amazing. While being held by John Wayne, here you are, here's, you know. Now, are you still, you, are you still, are you off the ground yes, now? You're not, you haven't landed yet. Yeah, off the ground yeah. because he was a very big man. Uh -huh. And so then the award's over, congratulations to Dustin Hoffman, and he sits down, and Mr. Wayne goes to put me down and leave, except my feet don't touch the ground. <laughs> <laughs> No, I have to take my shoes off to do it. My feet don't touch the ground. And I'm going. <laughs> well, you're still just hung there. That's no good. So I said, oh, oh, Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Wayne. And I have a hold of his jacket, the very tail end of his jacket. Oh, Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Wayne. Man. That's oh, funny. I don't know why I didn't shoot myself after that. <laughs> no. But that's the kind of great stuff that you remember later on and have a good laugh about, don't yeah, you think? Well, yeah. yeah. You know, we have a snowball. You do me a favor, throw it at the band. Really? Don't throw it. If you want, you don't have to. But don't throw it at the audience why? because, well, the audience will throw it back. <laughs> and they won't throw it back at you, they'll throw it back at me. <laughs> no. You don't have to. But over there if you want to. If you don't, we'll just put it away. We got a ton of I, them here. I feel like I'm being handed some moral decision here. Well, yes, in a certain way you are. Do you, do you want to throw that at the band or not? That's my decision. Here we go. <laughs> uh oh, she's digging in. Look out. Yeah. Good shot. No, it wasn't admitted. Well, for your first time. Yeah, well, all right. Well, you can hang around after the show and pelt them. Okay. All right. Practice. It's nice of you to come back uh, on the program. Oh, thank you. Was, was it? Nice uh, were you okay? Back. Were you comfortable well, after the first time around? Actually, I, I had a very good time, but I, 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 I felt very bad for you. Actually, I was going to write you a letter. Really? Yes, because uh, right after I did the show, they, 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 they wrote all these articles about you saying. What a shame you'd gone so soft. <laughs> you'd lost that edge, that ever-famous, fabulous edge. Yeah. And then they used me as the example. No. Yeah. That I had been too nice to you. Yeah, that you'd been too nice to me, and I felt really bad, and I, I was going to write you this letter that said, you could kiss my butt anytime you like. But then that didn't sound right. Whoa. Well, you know, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, 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 but then I... But then I I, I, I'm back here now, and I, and I just want to say that you can go ahead and be mean. Well, I, I have no reason to be mean to you. But you can be. Don't you see, be that, afraid. That's the thing. For, for like uh, 12 years, people said that I was mean to the guests. Well, no, sharp and edge. Yeah, but I know. never really felt that I was mean to them unless they caused trouble, you know? Uh -huh. if, it's like, a, if, you know, if there was trouble, then I'd put an end to it. Somebody has to, you I know see, what I mean? I see, I see. So you mean if I, were, if I were giving you some trouble, you'd put an end to it? <laughs> well, no, no, of course not. But I have no reason to be mean to you now. I had no reason to be mean to you then, uh -huh. and I, so I have no idea what they were talking about. Well, I don't know either. Well, we could call them. <laughs> That's another great question, wasn't it? <laughs> 
it, you know. They're going to say you were soft, you went nowhere with it, you know. The hell you with said it. You Screw said them. Who needs them? Yeah. Something occurred to me yeah. the other day. Uh, you were in this movie. Man, these movies. Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire. And, and then for Mrs. Doubtfire with Robin Williams. Uh, bang! Bam! You go right into uh, Mrs. Gump, yeah. or Forrest Gump's mother with Tom Hanks. And yeah. I'm thinking to myself, this is interesting, and I guess it's a, a, more than a little tribute to you and your uh, uh, abilities as a thespian. You played Robin Williams' uh, wife, yeah. wife and, uh, and Robin Williams and, and uh, Tom Hanks are about the same age, roughly. Yes. And then you also played his mother. Yes. So that, that's a real good range of uh, it, characters, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, 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 I think it is. I think Tom next time is going to play my mother as kind of a combination of both movies, you see. <laughs> Do people come up to you and talk to you about Forrest Gump? Because this thing has just taken over the world, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's kind of taken over the world. Uh, uh, Sort of, they do. They, a lot of people ask me, do I have sayings that I've lived Gump by? Gumpisms. Gumpisms. Because Mama always Mama said, is the, life is yeah. like a box of uh, chocolates. Yeah, and uh, stupid is as stupid yeah, does. Right. And, and she's sort of the instigator of all of those gumpisms. That's right. And so do you have some that you can shoot back to people when they come up to you? No. No. <laughs> Yeah, right there. No gumpisms. Uh, all right. Uh, your television show. Do you? No, no, no. I no, I don't. I, in fact, I, I can only remember the one. A stupid is a stupid does. Uh -huh. And life is and like life a box. Like to box me, that's it. That's plenty. Oh, that's well. all you need. <laughs> don't you think they that's pretty much? That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, tell us about the TV show. When does it come on now? Is it next week? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> No, I, I, I... I got it right here, Sally. Uh, debut is February 19th. Yeah, two weeks, in two weeks. Two weeks. It's like a six-hour miniseries. It's a six-hour miniseries. Yeah, and it's, um, uh, let's see, what's it? A Woman of Independent Means. It's A Woman of Independent Means. <laughs> Am I giving you a hard time? <laughs> Don't make me turn your lights out. I can um, take it. I've been around. I know you can. Now, now uh, we have to uh, go here. And uh, once again, I want to thank you for your time. It was great fun. I had, I had more fun this time than the last Where time. Where are we going? Well, we have to do a commercial. Oh. You've seen television, right? <laughs> I say life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> yes. OK, well. Uh, you never know what exactly. you're Exactly. You want to heave another one at the boys or not? Yeah. All right, you do this. There you go. Look out, here we go, Paul's, Paul's taking it. Now don't, here he is, right over there. Here we go. Yeah! Very nice. Sally Field, ladies and gentlemen. Great shot. Thank you very much, Sally, nice to see you again.